Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of videos in Adobe After Effects using Element 3D plugin. So hope this tutorial will be useful and by the end of this tutorial if you have learned anything new from this please click on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado let's begin. So here we are in After Effects now let's start this by creating a new composition. Further click on this new composition. Go to this preset options. I am selecting HD 1080 which is a full HD resolution with a frame rate of 24 and duration of 10 seconds. Hit OK. Now let's create a background layer. So further go to this layer options, new, solid. Let me rename this to BJ. Make sure it is of comp size and hit OK. Now come to this effects and presets panel here. If you are not finding this effects and presets here, come to this window and enable effects and presets and look for gradient ramp select this gradient ramp and drop it onto this background layer so in end color i will change it to red i will make this to radial ramp i will swap the colors and let me increase the ramp size here okay nice so now let's create another solid layer for element 3d so i can go to this layer options new solid let me rename this to element okay now again in effects and presets look for element so select this element and drop it onto this element layer okay now let's import our image onto this project panel so for that right click here go to come to this import select your file or else you can directly drop your image onto this project panel so make sure the image which you are using should be in png format that is transparent background now again select this image and drop it onto this timeline just above to this element layer. So here I got this dollar symbol which is in PNG format. Now select this image layer from timeline. Go to this layer options and auto trace. So we got a new layer created with the name auto trace. So now we can hide out both the layers now. Select the element layer. Come to this effects control. Expand this custom layer, expand this custom text and mask and in path layer one, select this auto tracer layer. So select that one and click on scene setup. So we got a new window open to work in element 3D. So now as soon as I click on this extrude button, you can see we got that dollar symbol in 3D. So if you want to increase the extrusion, we can do that, select this bevel material increase the extrusion like that here we can change this edges and bevel size just play with the different values here to get different look and if you scroll down and enable this bevel outline we will get only outline here so check out this different values and try out different properties here to get different looks so i will be disabling this bevel outside nice so now let's add some materials onto this symbol. So if I come to this presets, here we will get some default materials. So come to this physical. So here if we want to select anything, just select drag and drop it onto this 3D model. We will get that material. So for suppose if I want to use this, simply select drag and drop it. So you can see we got this gold material here, which is looking good. So I'll be leaving this to here only. So if you want to change the look of this material here, we can do that by changing the environment. So if we click on this environment tab, we'll get some default environment maps while installing this element plugin. So if I change this to this environment, you can observe the look here. The look of this element or model which you're using will change us. So let me change this to, I think this would be fine. So now we got a different look. So choose which suits better to you. So I'll be leaving this to only. Now hit OK. So we got our dollar symbol in 3D here. But in order to see in 3D space, we need to create a camera layer first. So go to this layer options, new create a camera and leave the default settings as it is. OK, now long press on this to select this unified camera tool. Now if we rotate this, we can see this model in 
3d space nice so now select this element layer once again come to this group one because this model is in group one so expand this come to this particle replicator so in replicator shape i will change this to 3d grid so grid x i will change to 5 and grid y to 5 and grid z to 5 so that we will get five rows five columns and five along the z axis so now let's increase the scaling so come to this where is this come to the scale xyz increase the scaling to here so that we get some difference between this so increase the scaling in y okay nice and also increase the scaling in z scale fine so once the settings are done here now come to this particle look so here we can reduce the scaling of the particle if you want so currently it is in 10 so i will change to 5 okay 5 is enough so particle size randomness i will change to 50 percent so that we will get some randomness in this shape now scroll down to this particle rotation so be on the first frame now enable keyframe of this particle x y z now change this particle x rotation to 90 y rotation to 45 and z rotation to 90 okay now increase this rotation randomness here i think i will change this value to 90 also okay fine so make sure you enable the keyframe of this x y z now let me enable keyframe of this position x y also and let me place this here okay let it be like this here now move to the last frame change this position y value to downwards like this till here okay now scroll down now change this x particle rotation to 1 y to 1 and z to 1 so if i play this animation we can say we got this falling dollar symbol effect here okay so now let's select this camera layer expand this one camera options and enable this depth of field now let me increase this aperture value to 100 and let me increase this blur level to 250 and let me play with this focus distance to i think 1500 okay nice so we can add keyframes for this focus also so be on the first frame enable keyframe of this focus distance here now move to the last frame now change this focus distance to 3000 this is not the default value you need to try out different values to get dif the different look depending on your scene so this varies just we can animate this also nice so if you want to increase this particles count we can do that at any time so simply select this element layer come to this particle replicator grid x we can change the value so i will be increasing this to 7 and y also 7 so in this way we can create this particles falling effect in adobe after effects using element 3d plugin easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye